So let's get more now on what this means for BP and indeed the oil industry at large, because I'm joined in the studio by Manucher Takin. He's senior petroleum upstream analyst at the Center for Global Energy Studies. Manucher, good to see you again. Good to be here. So what did you read into this report? What did you take away from it? No, I think the report is, the, I would say, is a good thing because uh, BP had been shy in making comments. This time they did come back, and we had all these various comments back and forth, the witnesses to the U.S. Congress and so on, individuals, uh, interviews in the media. I think it's a good thing overall, and I look at it as a good technical evaluation from their side. They said there was a Chinese wall, the experts were not influenced by BP executives, but as you heard in the good summary just now, mm. they gave where BP was at fault, but also specifically went through detailed technical issues, charts and so on, pressure changes, to say there were these other processes which occurred. Not pinpointing one, but of course saying that there are others involved. And so, so that is a good, from uh, I think a, a professional analysis by technical analysis. It's by, a from, analysis for, the, for the BP, but of course those who are a bit on the other side yeah. are counter and saying this is deficient. This will go on, both on a technical debate as well as the legal debate would go on for, for a long time, for, for months and years. And, and so when we so. speak about the technical debate, I suppose the crux of what we've learned, and it's something that we were speaking about before, was this idea that the company missed key warning signs yes. that the explosion was about to happen, right? Well, it's not the company, it's all the, the, the rig personnel, yeah. the individuals. Some did not notice The people it. working They the had company. gone. So that is where I think you say who was at fault. This will go on the discussion. But I think this report, at least from BP's side, comes out with a lot of great detail, actual technical information, charts and so on, giving their uh, for evaluation afterwards. So what do we know now that we didn't know before? Well, it, it does uh, uh, acknowledge that it was uh, BP's decision on one or two occasions. Mm. It does also say that there were some equipment which were a failure. It does say that the operators, which in this case were the uh, not BP staff, the, the contractors, should have noticed some of these uh, indicators that there was something wrong mm. and, and oversaw it. You know, Or when they did the first test, integrity test, and they uh, lowered the pressure, BP staff were there, but also they did not realize that there was inflow from the reservoir coming into the world, somehow they missed it. Or some of these indicators where the mud, uh, 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 the, the, where the mud flows in, at the time they were cleaning it. So they couldn't see from the level of the mud pit, for example, yeah. that there was too much inflow, the balance. Why this thing happened, there were supply vessels trying to take things away at the time. And they were testing some pumps at the, t the, the personnel rather than at the critical time looking at the indicators. These are the yeah. details which I think would have to be debated, of course. Exactly. And, and as you I, say, I don't want this, to make comments on one yes, the other. But this yes, is, so. it's, it's not going to be laid yes. to rest. I mean, That's there are still exactly. legal yes. implications yes. and indeed a political backlash as well with one U.S. Yes. congressman saying that of the eight key findings in BP's report, the company only took explicit responsibility for half of one. But how true. damaging is this going to be for the company in the long term? No, I think that we come back to the old, uh, the early days after this unfortunate accident, that somehow the media were too much at the back of our BP. BP, of course, acknowledged they were license holders and they were ultimately responsible. But I think, maybe I'm biased, but there was too much unfair criticism of BP at the very political level. The people who do not, who do not, who do not expect them to make comments, and that public opinion media were very much against BP. And this comment by the U.S. senator in the time of elections, I think this is really more domestic politics. Oh. I wouldn't go for that. This might go on one way or the other. Right. But as for the yeah. BP, as, as I said, the company will survive because this is not like Enron off-balance sheet items. Mm. There is so much asset. They have activities uh, around Chair the world. Yes. Thank you so much for your analysis.